Tiffany Buell. It's me. It's you. Okay. I'm really interested in your new project but, about Walmart. But before that, I want to talk about how you switched from figurative to abstract and why. Um, I think after my contract with Mona, I, I realized that... Um, what was your contract with Mona? Uh, it was a collection of bad dreams. Um, yeah, it's true. <laughs> <coughs> um, it was in last uh, December when I signed a contract for one year with, uh, with the house. And uh, I don't know, I just realized that I wasn't drawing for myself, but more for my brothers, because I started drawing for my brothers first. So um, for me, it was like uh, an accomplished project. Uh, I wasn't even expecting to put my drawings on a brand like this one day, so uh, I just thought, okay, maybe I should try to do something more personal, something that looks like me, and uh, that was maybe the, the transition, yes. Even though you've been drawing um, a long time, like figurative. Yes, it's a true that time. it was the first time I, I was drawing abstract, but I... I don't know, I, I think it's, um, there's so many different phases when you're an artist and uh, it was so figurative and I really tried hard to make some books for children or to, to, to do some storyboards for animation but it wasn't really relaxing and for me like doing art were, was supposed to be less stressful than a typical work. So, uh, so oh yeah, it's, uh, I just started and um, and first I was a little bit skeptical about it because I didn't know if it looked like my style or if we can recognize uh, the project before and the new one. Uh, for me the most important was to people to recognize my work even if it's abstract to uh, to the work I used to do. the reaction? Like the expo you had in the memory. That was the first one. I was completely different with textiles and yes. sculptures. And well, I, I never thought about putting my drawings in uh, on, well, maybe textile, yes, but I was more thinking about prints. Um, but it, I mean, I like doing uh, design. So for me, it was a, possi a possibility since uh, till the beginning. For me, like uh, when you do drawings, you want to draw everywhere. So everywhere means on clothing, on uh, maroquinerie, uh, on or even design like objects. I, I dream to do some uh, table, uh, maybe some curtain. I don't know. I have many ideas about it. Wallpaper. Wallpaper would be nice too. Yeah. And then, how did you get started on this project, Walmart? Uh, well, Walmart. The, yeah, the Walmart. 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 Um, Walmart. Yes. Woman art. Um, well, the Walmart was. Uh, I didn't think about the Walmart first. I was uh, watching a, a documentary about uh, condition of women in India, and um, I always thought uh, like uh, I would like to do something about it, but I don't know what to do because I mean um, I don't have any association or anything, and uh, I just discovered that I can just go to India and organize a little bit my trip to meet some different women in different places and um, first I was I wasn't thinking about art but I thought like that could be an art project so uh, I went there with an idea of a project and when I was there the project totally changed um, I, I, maybe I did doing three months different type of drawings of abstract drawings uh, and try to see how direction I take uh, to show every person I, I meet there. But uh, I actually realized that I was much more spontaneous, so it, the less I prepare it, the more I enjoy it. So uh, I just did what I want to do when I was there. But prior to your trip, you contacted these professors in the village of India. So they were there. Like there were one city, and I went a little bit around during my trip. But it was in uh, Hyderabad. It's, it's really in the center of India, 
and um, yes, I contact them on Facebook because I, I mean, uh, it's really weird because I really hate social media, but I really need them to do my work now. So um, now I try to spend 15 minutes a day on Facebook maximum, and uh, so I was talking 15. with yes, 15. Wow. Yeah. I wish I could say the same. <laughs> <laughs> I put 30 minutes on Instagram and 15 minutes on Facebook. Then I have like uh, yeah. That's great. Yeah, it's really great. It changed everything. So this this trip was self-financed. You went and you decided to go to go into orphanage mm -hmm. uh, schools. And uh, I met some girls in a manufacturing. Yes. And how open were they to you? And how did you? Because you're shy, they're shy too, right? Yes. So, I mean, I spent half of the day playing with the girls around. Uh, I was painting on walls to show them what was my work. Uh, we were talking about my life in Paris, about their life, their childhood, when they grow up, and everything. And in what uh, language were you communicating? Most of the time English and uh, yes, yeah, English. And, uh, and when they weren't speaking English, uh, there was always someone to help me. So, uh, yeah. Well, sometimes it was really difficult. It was, it was more like laughing and sign. But, uh, how long were you there and how long was it until you really started the project because first you want to show who you are and get their confidence yes. so they can open up to you it so took well not that much because i i stay like for a week there and just i was a week. just a week and uh, i was moving every day so uh, it was very ex express i was coming in the morning and during the first hours i was doing some uh, uh how we can say that like uh, workshop yeah workshop of drawings and uh, then we were doing like some dance or some uh, some paintings together because you're a performance artist as yeah. well <laughs> yes. well I'll try well, you have for the first time yeah. and uh, it was a, I mean I never painted before on a wall or, or on a door outside and I never I never painted in front of people like that it was really the first time that I have 15 people around me watching me painting so Can you do something like that in Tokyo I in did oh yeah true around. but it wasn't painting it was a marker it's not the same for me <laughs> a little bit yes a little bit but um yeah in Tokyo I was very never I almost forgot it actually that's yeah. it. <laughs> I, I I forgot it I think I was just uh yeah, I, I prefer to not think about it, I think. When I'm doing it, it's, um, it's really hard to paint in front of people. Yeah, yeah really. Because you're not sure about what you are going to do. I don't draw with a crayon before, so uh, it's a direct show. And if the work is bad, well, it is, you know? So uh, I'm a little bit stressed when I do this. But so what was it that you wanted to find out from these women? What was, it, what was the idea of the project? Uh, the idea was to meet women from the world, from different culture, and talk to them about their freedom, uh, the way they feel about themselves, um, and what they want to do later, like it was most of the time uh, about the future too, uh, what, what kind of world they like to live in. That's why I asked to go from 13 to 30, 30, uh, 34, 35. And uh, in my next trip uh, to Japan, there's, there's going to be a lot, a lot of women from 40 years old. So uh, I think from a country to another, it's going to be very different. Yeah. So you're going there with the photographer as well, or you're taking the picture? No, I'm gonna, no I think I'm going to take the picture because I, I take a kind of... A pleasure to to take the portrait too so uh, yes I think it depends on the destination for Japan I think it's really hard to approach uh, people without knowing them much more than in India so um, why do you think that is is it because it's your culture or half of your culture um, <laughs> no I think maybe people are more much more shy maybe yeah. and um, Yes, yeah, so maybe I, I'm, a li I'm a little bit scared too to know the truth about the, tr the condition of women there. I don't know. It, maybe it's a mix up of everything. I'm more shy to do this in Japan than India. Interesting. Mm. 
I tend to do is like being on a train telling some perfect stranger a story you might never tell anybody else. Yes, exactly. Because you figure I'll never see them again, so it's okay. Yes. So maybe India's kind of like that. Yeah, and this kind of, yeah, maybe. And how much time are you going to spend in India doing this? Uh, in Japan, you mean? In Japan. Yes, oh, in Japan it's going to be uh, two weeks. Yeah, two weeks, so the more longer. So I want to try something a little bit more, maybe deeper, because mm. I have more time. Who are these women that you're going to approach? How, how, are you, how are you finding them? Um, I find them on Instagram. I think oh, okay. uh, it's the best way to... You're half an hour on Instagram. Yeah, <laughs> it's very speed. <laughs> No, most of the time, I, well, my um, my Instagram account is really around art, so I have often proposition of artists in my, you know, oh, in my great. wall. So uh, most of the time, I just find them like this, and I love their work, so I propose them. Uh, I send an email to propose them to potentially participate of the next exhibition, or even just mention the womb art because I think it's a very positive movement. So uh, you yeah. haven't really explained exactly what womb art is. Uh, <laughs> well, I'm going to 